Hey everyone, I'm finally back. I've been sick in bed for about 10 days. It has been so horrendous. I don't know what it was, if it was the flu or RSV or what it was, but it was really, really bad. I have not had any makeup on in 10 days. I have not basically gotten out of bed in 10 days, and I'm still pretty stuffy, so I sound kind of funny right now. But I actually had a little bit of energy today, so I thought I'd get up and put some makeup on. And I wanted to share with you all of my latest drugstore hauls. Um, so much stuff at the drugstore right now. It just keeps coming, too. I have on today one of the new Wet n Wild All Natural palettes. I got both of them. I have on today this one that's called Bare Necessities, which is mostly golds and some sort of... Um, pinky browns, champagne pinks, and then this one is so pretty, Nude Awakening. I can't wait to play with this. It's all pinks and plums and purples. So I have on Bare Necessities today. I'll swatch all these colors for you. These uh, palettes are not bad, and I was so excited when I found out they were coming out. It's been a while since we've heard anything palette-wise from Wet n Wild. You know, even the little three-pack palettes that come out even the little eyeshadow triples that they come out with that usually are real bright colors or they have some sort of a theme. We haven't seen any of those in a very long time, so I was really excited when I heard about these All Natural palettes coming out. I found these at Walmart, and they were the last ones. I was very excited to find those. Also got a bunch of stuff from Rimmel um, from Walmart and some Rimmel lipsticks I have never seen before. So, to start out, we have these au naturel. It says, get a little risque and go au naturel. <laughs> they have on the back uh, little diagrams for you to follow for these different looks for them. This rosy one is so pretty. Let me show you that one first, even though that's not what I have on. Now, what I found in the formula in this is that, you know, as usual, some of them feel really good and then some of them are not so great. Here are the rosy toned ones. Here are the more nude to gold toned ones. That's what I have on today. So let me show you what I did today. So I went in over my entire lid packing in this color right here. It is a shiny, metallic-y pink champagne sort of like a pink mocha. Then in the crease, I did this matte color right here, which is very much a um, another mocha pink, but matte. It's got quite a bit more brown and a little bit taupey. Outer corner, I did this deep chocolate brown here, which is another matte. And then I also put a little bit of this really pretty blue steel color at the uh, end here. It is more of a metallic um, shimmer, not really a glitter. So the pink champagne one, uh, the lid color I used, I was really shocked at how nice that one is. It is a very smooth feel. It's got a very creamy feel. It is not um, chunky glitter like I thought it might be. Here is the crease color I used, which is a, sort of a pink gray taupe. And then the outer corner is this deep chocolate. It's got a hint of, I don't know, purplish to it, maybe? Here is this beautiful blue-gray steel metallic. Another really nice creamy feel. These mattes um, that I used on my eyes today were very creamy. Um, they had a real good pigmentation and a real good creaminess to them. Not a dry, chalky feel at all. Last color on the palette is a dark black, and it's got a little bit of a blue shimmer in it, if you can see some of the shimmer in it. That would make a pretty liner. I'll do the uh, first colors are very gold. I'll do those swatches as well. Okay, here are the first colors in the palette. This one here, the very first one, is a very uh, vanilla, and it's almost matte, but it has a bit of a pearly finish to it. And then all the rest of them are quite, uh, quite smooth satin, not super metallic or glittery. The first time you get to anything that's really um, metallic-y is that pink champagne one I used on my lid. 
So this whole palette seemed to be really good in consistency, really consistent in consistency. It didn't have a lot of that, didn't have any one that was real sheer, real chunky glitter, fallouty or weird. It didn't have any chalkiness to it. The, uh, the next palette, the rosy one, had sort of some issues here and there with it. Here are the first five of the rose palette. It's a, the first one is matte. It's sort of a just your standard vanilla with a tiny bit of pink to it. This one on the end here is what I would use as a great lid color. It's a metallic bubblegum pink or a dusty pink, sort of a rose. It's really smooth. Um, now, the second one in the palette right here, that is a chunky glitter type deal. Uh, chunky, not much pigmentation to it, just kind of fallouty and irritating. So we have four mattes in this one. Um, the last palette only had two mattes in it. And here are your darker colors toward the end here. This wine color right here is gorgeous. Look at that. It's so pretty. These are mattes toward the end, which is kind of unusual. This one is not. That one is not. But this one and these two on the end and this one right here are mattes. So on this palette, um, I have an issue with... <clears throat> the black here is just a flat black matte, and it is, you know, gets that streaky, ashy thing going that I hate with these flat that black mattes. And then, of course, that second one from the beginning of the palette is chunky, glittery. Don't like that one. But what a pretty range of colors, and what a, you could just do so many things with these. They would just be so pretty all together. I can't wait. So, a couple of good palettes. I like these. So I checked out at the same Walmart that had these Wet n' Wild palettes. I checked out the Rimmel section and I was shocked because they had these three, well, they had these lipsticks I have never seen before. I have heard these fabled Kate Moss Rimmel nudes lipsticks, but I have never before seen them in person. And I thought it was just a myth, you know, because I had never seen them. They have a whole line of their, they're all nudes. Kate Moss lipsticks. So I've grabbed three of the ones I liked the best looking at the colors on the bottom. And I really like these. These are one swipe and you're done nudes. I really like them. First off, I'll start off with the super dark one, number 49. She doesn't, um, Rimmel doesn't name their stuff, um, name their lipsticks colors. I don't know why. 49 is an unusual, now it has some shimmer to it, unusual color. It's a deep brown, but it has a pink um, shift to it, strangely enough. See the shift? Isn't that strange? These are very nice, creamy, full coverage lipsticks, and they're all nude. You know I like a nude lipstick, especially when you have a range of nudes. Number 44 is a good everyday pink nude cream. No, no glitter on there. One swipe and done. These have an unusual smell. Um, it's fruity, but balm. Sort of smells like a lip balm to me. This one's number 47, and it's a deep mauvey rose. That one came out quite warm. But they have a whole range of these nudes, and I'm just, I'm just loving a range of nude lipsticks. I had never actually seen these in person. And since I've seen these, I've looked for them in different places that have Rimmel, and I have never seen them again. Another Rimmel product I picked up, Good to Glow Highlighter. This one is called Notting Hill Glow. I think there are three of these in their collection. This is a new liquid highlighter that they have out. I have that on today. So it is intensely crystalline. I mean, look at the crystalness of it. Um, it is a liquid, so I do have issues with that. I don't really like liquid highlighters. This is not a super smooth um, shine or sheen like, say, a Becca liquid highlighter. This has kind of got some chunky glitter in it a little bit. I'll put it on the end of my hand here and swirl it around. Now, it is an intense highlight. This one is a very white. I mean, it is snow white pearl. Um, the little label on there has a sort of a pink cast to it, like it's got a little bit of pink to it. I guess it does. I guess it is a very crystalline pink glow. Man, it is, it is, a, it is definitely a strong glow, but I don't really like it because it's a liquid, and when you dot it on, even with my stipple brush, I dotted it on, and then I didn't 
guess I didn't get it all spread around in time and I've got some streakiness. I don't know if you can see some streaks of it stippled down here that did not get worked into place. So intense crystalline glow on that if you like that sort of thing, which I, I kind of do, but it's got a little bit of a chunk chunkiness to it. Not like your nice smooth Becca's. So that's my Walmart haul for today. And coming up, NYX lip products. Some more NYX lip lingerie. I have one of those on right now. And a NYX lip kit, lipstick kit. You know, I love my lipstick palettes. So I'll see you next time.